Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday. Now, for today's recipe, I'm very excited. We're gonna use the scraps from the cake that we made yesterday. Um, don't worry, if you didn't save the scraps from your cake, just make another cake. Just use a box cake, throw in your eggs, your oil, your butter, your water, whatever it might be, and um, we'll use that. So fun fact, we are gonna make cake pops. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that. We're gonna go very simple with them. You can go very extremely crazy. You can go very simple. We're gonna go very simple today. But my fun fact is the reason people started making cake pops is because when they would trim, off, trim a cake to make a cake, a decorated cake, they would have this part of the cake left over. And people would look at it and be like, I don't want to throw this away like this is this is so much cake I could do something with this so they decided to start making cake pops let me show you what you need all right so you don't need a lot of things you need some cake scraps or a cake that you made just for this reason a bowl either butter or frosting um, I'm gonna use chocolate frosting that we had left over from the cake that we made yesterday as well as the tops from the cake yesterday Either lollipop sticks or our popsicle sticks, which we keep using, so you might as well use those because you got them around. Some chocolate chips in a plastic bowl. They're over in the microwave because we're going to melt them just like we did yesterday for the ears. As well as some wax paper and a plate. So the first thing you want to do is crumble up your cake. I'm just going to use the inside of the cake because it's just easier. Um, you can use the whole top of the cake, but the thing is, when you do that, it very often, um, like this part, if you're making them just for friends and family, go for it. But if you're using them like I do for a business, I don't like to have that part of the cake in there. But you can crumble up the whole cake, whichever, whatever. And then I'm going to crumble up the strawberry cake too, but you're probably mostly going to taste the chocolate because there's a lot more chocolate. I just don't want to waste the strawberry cake. Now, as you can see, it's a little drier than it was yesterday. Our cake was moist yesterday. Um, so that's why we add, if I make yellow cake, I like to add some margarine or butter because it really tastes like the Starbucks um, cake pops. If you add margarine or butter and a little bit of, um, and use white chocolate. We're gonna use regular chocolate today because we're using chocolate chips. So we're gonna get that all nice and crumbled. And then I'm gonna add some chocolate frosting. Now you could use regular frosting, you could use a different flavor of frosting, you could use butter. But this is just a good way to work on stuff when you, or to use leftovers. Now, Add just a little bit at a time. I'm actually gonna use my spoon to stir it up because I don't want to get all messy. But dig in with your hands, that's fine. Whatever you whatever you're filling. And start with less. Like don't put a whole can of frosting in here. The first time I ever, ever made cake pops, we made chocolate ones, and the recipe said to use an eight-inch cake and a whole can of chocolate frosting. So that's what we did, and they were horrible. They wouldn't hold together, they were like goopy like wouldn't hold shape they were oozing out they were bad see this actually with just that little bit of icing i added looks almost maybe completely there let's see yeah i think this is good so you want to be able to grab some of it form it into a ball now the best way is just kind of squish Squish, 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 squish. That's kind of the um, technique that I've done. And then kind of roll it. And then squish, 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 squish. A little roll it a little more. And just like that. Now I'm going to make a few more of these and I'll be right back. All right. So we melted our chocolate like we always do. We put some chocolate chips in here. Microwaved them for 30 seconds. Stirred them. 30 seconds. Stirred them. This is after a minute. If your chocolate is too thick to cover your um, cake balls or cake pops in, we're gonna add a little oil to this, but first we're gonna dip our lollipop stick or our popsicle stick in a little bit of chocolate and just get like a little, that's probably like a half inch, and stick them into the top very carefully of your 
cake ball. I usually like to hold my cake pop and just kind of stick it in so that it doesn't separate while I'm trying to push it in. We're gonna pop these in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Then when we come back, we'll warm up our chocolate, add a little bit of oil or shortening to it. I'm gonna add oil and I'll show you that when we come back. And then we'll be ready to dip these and they'll be done. All right, so the cake pops have been in the fridge for 20 minutes. The chocolate up here is nice and solid. And I just stuck this back in for about 15 seconds. And it's not quite loose enough or liquidy enough to coat the cake pops. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable oil and the same thing with the frosting, add it in a small amount. So guys, what would you like to see next week on Kids Can Cook? Have you liked this week of Kids Can Cook? Go in the messages, comment, let me know while you're making the cake pops. Also tell me what flavor cake pops you decided to make. All right, see these are much, it's more liquidy now. So the best way I've learned to decorate cake pops is to put all of, this is a square bowl, so it's a little different, but I like to kind of tip the bowl on the side and have all the chocolate down in one part of it. Take my cake pop. I'm trying to make sure you can see this. Put it in. Rotate it all the way around. And then lift it out. This one came off the stick, but no big deal. If that happens, let me wipe my hand. If that happens, just fish it out and then take the top off, dip it, and stick it back on there. If you're doing more cake pops, see, this one is perfect. See? Just like that. If you're doing more than four cake pops, I usually have a big bowl that I can just dip it in, down, and straight back up, and the whole thing is covered. But I didn't want to make and melt a bunch of chocolate since I only had four cake pops. Alright, here's our third one. And then our very last cake pop. Make sure they don't touch. And then you can just kind of, if you didn't get all of the top, just put some chocolate on the back of your spoon and just touch it up. Now you could use white chocolate. You could get the Wilton Color Melt chocolate. Um, candy melts is what they're called. They're not actually chocolate, but they work. That's what most people use. And they're different colors. They're easy to work with. Um, you could make these look like different things. You could take some white chocolate and drizzle them. I like to do, um, they have a marshmallow flavored white chocolate from Wilton. I like to take that, dip a chocolate cake pop in it, cover it in the marshmallow chocolate, and then roll it around in graham crackers. And that's like a s'more, and I love s'mores. All right, so once they're all nice and covered, just like that, we are going to stick them back in the fridge. This time for only about five minutes, just so they get nice, so the chocolate gets nice and solid and solidified again. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today and making some yummy cake pops. Now, after they've sat in the fridge for about five minutes, they come off the wax paper, no problem. You can also use parchment paper. So, go make some of these with your leftover cake bits or just make a cake to make cake pops. Post a picture and let me know how you like them. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.